Welcome to JSA TV, the newsroom for tech and telecom professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Ukutai of JSA, here at the lovely Honolulu PTC 2018, joined by my friend, Mr. Jeff Monk. He's the Vice President of Sales in North America for Active Watch Security. Jeff, welcome to JSA TV. Thank you very much, Jamie. Pleasure to be here. And it's a pleasure to have you. I was doing a little research before this interview, and I have to say, your website reminded me of the movie Minority Reports, because you were like, it's a very unique business model, because you're predicting crime, you're preventing crime before it happens. Can you tell us a little bit more? Well, that, that's our goal. We, we give technology vision. So in essence, our goal is to prevent the crime before it happens by taking security equipment, IP cameras, one step further, instead of the customer coming in eight hours later to view carnage, we encourage them connect the uh, DVR or NVR box, which is the recording box, mm -hmm. to broadband or fiber internet, live stream it back to our center where our team can use our analytics and of course our well-trained operators to keep an eye on your closed business, usually between uh, 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. and 24 hours on holidays and weekends. So in essence, if we see anything against protocol, and of course our customers set the protocol, then we're going to dispatch necessary authorities or private security to foil that incursion, whether it be theft, vandalism, or in these days, terrorism. So we want to make sure we're ahead of the curve when it comes to crime. Well, certainly needed, for sure, on uh, these crazy times of ours. Now, you also specialize in remote access control. Is that correct? It is. And one fine example is uh, we have a national trucking contract. And not only do we use our technology and the camera equipment provided by the customer's providers to uh, keep security on the yard, right. however, when truckers do roll in to the gate operation, they will press an intercom button and in turn the camera will come on and our team of concierges will verify that trucker by looking at a driver's license, marking a container number down and verifying with the database if the customer authorizes that trucker to be on the premises and if that load is genuine. And if everything just check out, we remotely open the gate and allow the truck to continue. Quite simply. Remote access control. Remote access control at its very best. Now, as, uh, as situated in Vancouver, and, and uh, you guys actually have this whole North American dealer network Correct. that I think a, a lot of our viewers will be interested in. Can you tell us more about that? Well, what we've done is we've reached out to a lot of the security companies and like companies throughout North America and said, hey, join our network. There are no fees, there are no quotas. We encourage you to sell your own equipment. We don't ask for any fees from you for selling the equipment to your customers. And we offer you a wholesale dealer agreement with ActiveWatch. So basically, we offer them a wholesale price for the monitoring and a suggested retail for both our 24-hour and 12-hour time blocks. The, we build our dealers, our dealers build our, their customers, and they get to keep the gap every month. Residual income. Customers get better security, they get another revenue source, their customers are stickier to them, less chance of them leaving and finding another service company for the equipment, everybody wins. And, and therefore, with these, uh, this U.S. and Canadian telco partnerships, PTC, I would imagine, would be a great event for you. It totally is. A matter of fact, it gave us the opportunity to meet many telco partners that we never would have had the opportunity to meet. One in particular was a gentleman that I met here who's a local uh, based company here in Hawaii and he does uh, broadband but he does it in Wi-Fi so it's a lot of times there are many remote areas especially here on the island where you can't get a fiber in so in essence we want to work together and he's going to become one of our dealers uh, so we can team up to offer broadband to customers that have equipment but are not able to connect it right now to stream it back to us so it's a win-win for him he gets to sell more broadband, he actually becomes a dealer, he gets residual income, and the customer gets better security. All in all, we help to protect businesses here in Hawaii uh, with local presence because it's a very much a local community here in Hawaii and the people feel very comfortable working with one of their own. And I can definitely understand that. And we're there to support all of our dealers everywhere. And actually that's a great uh, next uh, lead into my next question. 
local and, and global. It's not just North America that you guys are catering to. Can you tell us more? Well, yes, we've basically established uh, another related company in Europe. It's called Spective, and this services our European market. Our chairman is European by birth, and he elected to open another company in Europe. And presently, we have quite a few well-placed European companies that are contracted to us. And in the future, we may even consider opening up a North American database or uh, data center uh, for monitoring. And the reason why we actually chose Europe at this point is because of time differences. When it's evening in North America, it's morning in Europe. So basically, our team, wide awake, breakfast with the family, it's not their third job, and they're on the job to protect our customers. So we would want to do the same thing for European-based customers because it's vice versa in the time shift. Love that. And following the sun is, uh, is a great model, especially when we're talking security. So, okay, my final question, but most tricky potentially for you. Can you give us a little insight and predictions on what 2018 is going to have in store for you? Well, yes. And actually, I've taken some notes on that because it's, it's quite an interesting topic and I wanted to give you guys a full answer to the best of my ability. We love that. So, so in essence, basically, what we see are... I'm predicting more cloud-based services, uh, perhaps even for the residential market, for telcos, uh, bringing it down to that level. And security, for example, could never be overlooked in that aspect. In many ways, telcos are jumping into entertainment, cable companies jumped into the telco industry, right? Why not real time remote video monitoring. Why not telcos jumping into that market in addition to their ISP partners? They have the bandwidth. Why not create the revenue stream and the additional service to their client base? And it's brilliant. It's brilliant. And we're certainly seeing this blending of industry sectors uh, now more than ever. And, and of course, technology advancing that, such as yours, uh, makes, makes perfect sense and, and a nice gateway, if you will. Absolutely. In addition, you know, I actually see the market consolidating even more too. Less companies, more companies coming together, smaller companies, fiber companies being bought out by larger companies who are not going to invest in their own fiber networks. They're going to buy out existing fiber networks. So, and again, less but maybe more for the consumer. Jeff, it's really a pleasure speaking to you. Quite the you. thought leader, visionary. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you for coming and being part of our, our little uh, video here. And thank you, viewers, for tuning in to JSA TV.